to the channel real quick let's talk about this 2017 Jeep Cherokee with multi air 2.4 now I'm taking the light on the reason it's on is a uh, P0128 okay that happens to be a thermostat all right thermostat cold so I'm suspecting the thermostat is stuck open here's a part number if y'all need I highly suggest you get OEM because that's why she's actually she's not that she's back but she's at the shop with the same problem she had previously from another shop which was the exact same fault code okay so they obviously put a thermostat in a not so good quality let me show you something y'all see what they said on this box genuine parts Mopar so it's not that I'm bragging on Mopar parts but uh if this what your car makers manufacturers suggest um, I think I would want to do that, especially if it's not an old car. This car has 70,000 miles on it. Now, ain't much you can do about the cold being generated. Um, you could actually have a failed thermostat in it. I mean, you'll see that cold. Uh, one reason you see that cold is, um, uh, it could be a glitch in the computer, man. That, that, that strategy that, uh, Chrysler used to generate that cold could be sensitive. And some year models, they even want us to flash update the module. Uh, I can only assume it's to desensitize that uh, that fault code. Okay, so that could be an issue. In fact, I'm gonna check the flash update and see if there's any updates available on this car. But yeah, that could be the reason. Then too, it just could really be a failed thermostat. These thermostats are built inside of the housing, but they're high quality. So as much labor as it take to go in and replace this thermostat, I'm not sure I would go in with a not so high quality thermostat all right <laughs> i just wouldn't do it it's it just gonna take so now she's out of double labor to i'm not sure if it's the same labor i'm sure the dealership uh, charging more you know from from an hourly standpoint but it's going to be done quality it's going to be done right and quality and I, like i say i'm going to check and make sure the control is up to date all right so y'all stay tuned i'm gonna get back with y'all in a second hold tight okay so what i'm gonna do welcome back so what i'm gonna do is we're finna rent winterize this car what we're gonna do is replace the thermostat i am going to flush the cooling system in other words drain all the cooling out and uh grab the flush machine i'm gonna try to push make sure there's no restriction anywhere in the cooling system okay as you know that cooling system travels even through the heater core okay so i will grab the heater hoses and flush it through there also we want everything clean and free of any restriction okay at 70 75 thousand miles that is a decent time to do that and i'm going back in with this chrysler recommended 10 year antifreeze all right that is the best antifreeze actually that's the recommended antifreeze that they want you to use now i'm not going to film replacing this thermostat because I have a real good video. Uh, I was actually set up at home uh, doing a buddy's car at home and I was able to film it. In fact, I'm gonna put that link right here. Okay, go watch that video on how to replace a thermostat on a 2.4 liter multi-air engine. All right, I did one uh, video, I actually did two of them. One was by the book. I showed you how the book recommend you do it according to Chrysler manufacturer and I showed you how I do it myself personally okay uh, after so many years you tend to create your own way okay now I highly advise you go by the book and learn your own way if you plan on doing any more but for the most part in fact I suggest you look at how the book or how Chrysler recommend that you do it and then you look at the way I do it and you come to your own conclusion how you want to do it or how you think you should do it. Uh, the way I did it was based off time. I'm really uh, on a time constraint. I, have, I work on commission and uh, that thinking even carries with me uh, off site, off the job. I still think that way when I'm working regularly. Time is money. so. I found a quicker way to do it, so I utilize my way. Again, I highly suggest you go by the book. So, matter of fact, let me put the link on the one I did by the book right here. So go watch that also. All right. So P0128, common code. We see it 
all the time okay um, and most likely we end up replacing the thermostat okay and uh like i said a lot of things gonna have to be removed i'm still letting it cool off by the way so it should be fairly warm cool enough to work on okay if i can put my hand on the exhaust uh it's ready to go you don't really want to be messing with any kind of bolts or, and screws coming out of any aluminum uh material you just want to let the let it cool off first so i will eventually end up removing the pcm of course disconnecting the battery partially removing some of this all of this got to come off the brake uh booster i have to have to come off um water jackets have to come off air cleaner all of that like i say go watch my video i go into details on what i remove in order to pull this off okay thermostat uh p0128 thermostat rationality uh code now i have i don't think i remember how the book say the diagnosis thing but you know how most people are they go straight to the possible causes <laughs> and most possible causes under that code simply says replace thermostat good thing about this thermostat it comes with a cooling sensor cooling temp sensor already built on it so if you once had a problem with your cooling temp sensor uh good news for you you're going to get a new one all right uh the computer uses this information uh, a couple reasons tell when the electric fan should come on it's an electric cooling fan when the engine reaches a certain temperature based off signal from this cooling temp sensor uh that fan will activate another thing to turn that fan on is the ac system request if high side pressure which is determined by a high side pressure switch on the ac system is at a certain pressure that would turn the fan on so fan plays a major important role uh in your cooling system do not sleep on the fan all right so what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I'll set the camera down and y'all can watch a little bit of this. But like I said, I already have a video on this, so I'm not really going to film the entire thing. And um, I got work to do. So y'all stay tuned. We'll get with it. In fact, I will just, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just let this video play. The previous one I did, I'll just time lapse, lapse it. Make it go very fast, okay, so we can get through this. Like I said, if you want, want to slow down and explain in detail, you may have to watch that full video, but if you're in a quick hurry and you want to catch some quick tips, I will put footage of that video into this video on a time lapse basis. Okay, so it's going to be going real fast. Don't, don't try to, uh, you won't be able to hear any audio because I'm going to have music playing in the background. All right, so y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.